Hi guys, welcome back to Win Project Hobbies. My name is Edwin. So uh, today I would like to confess. So If you're looking to buy miniatures or even paint or brush or even other accessories for your hobby needs, okay, you can feel free to check out the description below. Once you click into it, it will direct you to Lazada link which you can find a lot of cool deals to purchase for your hobby needs. If you'd like to support the channel, please feel free to check them out. So you guys know actually I'm a super collector and also a fan of Warhammer Terrain and this time, I think I bought something <laughs> really huge and uh, I didn't expect I could actually collect it and of course we have to really uh, say a big thanks to our Malaysian community uh, because of you guys I have opportunity to get this really cool terrain piece so what's the terrain piece without further ado let's go check it out and I believe you guys will be very very shocked oh find it this time why the table is clear because today we actually have a very cool terrain piece in, and I actually just bought this, to be frank, is really super thanks to our Malaysian community, especially Siawam and of course our dear friend Dome. So from them, I managed to get a very, very cool piece of terrain piece and also it's actually a very, very add-on collection, especially if you guys into the 40k world, it's actually one of the best terrain piece actually ever released. So let's go check out what we actually have. Uh, to be honest, the box is really amazing and super heavy. Whoa! Okay, so... I actually managed to get this box storage from Doom and this is actually a custom made uh, storage box especially for Sector Imperialist uh, Technically this is uh, for those who join Army or Parade you guys can get from official store This is like an almost immediately uh, ready uh, platform for Army Parade because it's 2 times 2 feet yeah, Let me flip it over It's really really heavy. How do you go on? Okay. Oh. Okay. So here we can see the first board is actually painted to slightly tabletop standard. Uh, to be honest, it's a very nice piece. But we're gonna lay out all foundation first. Then we go. Each layer actually they they have a foam to divide. And this is custom made and I'm really happy to be able to take over the collection. And in the same time in future, if probably we want to have a really cool display, I can just bring this box at any time. All this uh, terrain board can be transported and in a very nice condition. And uh, let's lay it out. Actually, I should put this on the floor. Yeah, I should put this on the floor. Uh, take out all the pieces first. Uh. So once we lay our table, it's just nice six times four because each, uh, technically each piece is two times two feet. Up. So it's actually a very cool modular, and you can see generally we have two design. One is just one straight road. Another is actually a T junction. So what you can mix and match to combine, and you can create a very nice sector imperially street or then the key to implement like those uh, 40k world, which is you can see a lot of rich element of a uh, 40k uh, sky fi now, i'm not really sure this is actually not high tech right? but then you can, you can see that the civilization of imperial is sealed in their street and those better damage and of course this one of the sec this is one of the piece that really fit perfectly especially for better system so for me i actually collect better system army and this is probably the perfect table to play on it you can see the box to store is really really huge and heavy and I really have a hard time to set this up because to be honest this is a huge labor work it's really gonna carry a lot and this is not just all of it we also gonna show you what we got from our collection which I collect over uh, maybe a few years two three years uh, but 
the recent catch is I got this board just last month, which also can say is a one a good completion of the project. And I know a lot of people are gonna complain. Oh, you collect so many things, you hot so many terrain. Will you really paint all of them? Uh, I guess my answer is same to all the minis I have also all my power of shape. Just that I just don't limit to hot army. I hot terrain piece also. Of course, I aim to paint them and I actually try to work out a schedule but everything will take on its own time because this is a hobby. This, I mean, this is just a hobby. It's not really a you must do but I do it because I enjoy it and collection and of course painting is one of my uh, geek that bring me joy when I have the leisure or the free time to do it. So now we're also going to bring all the terrain piece out that I hold and we're going to show you probably the potential cathedral we can do for a better system. Besides the six pieces on the table, I also managed to get another extra one piece, special thanks to Selvam. So this is another T junction and we have the option to change this spot into both T and uh, always better to have extra. So we never know who knows we want to use this to join army and parade or you want to lay extra foundation or the worst case scenario, this is our spare part. So if anything goes wrong, we still got one more and to fill the gap. For Sector Imperialist, I actually probably have everything just right over here. It's uh, quite a huge box and a turret. So you can see this is actually Sector Imperialist. This is one of the box that give you the walls. And I, of course, I also split quite a lot of box of the OQ team. This is a Sanctum. It's a must have if you try to do a cathedral because you want a site have those very cool design and of course we need more sanctum always more is better and also if you guys get bouncy calium you actually get two pieces of this kind of statue i also managed to get uh if i'm not mistaken since this is another one more new in box and we have another four statue here we, we can manage to put six of them in total and we have another one more this is the sanctum and inside here is probably have uh, if I'm not mistaken I think close to six set or seven set uh, I still have not enough 80 walls but I'm trying to go into that slowly and maybe <laughs> maybe this is have a little overspending but never mind this is a collection it's an investment and since an investment we always need to invest in real estate and this is a warhammer real estate so i'm proud of it and we continue to dig up so here i will change the angle so you guys have a better cool look on what i have these sanctums i got from Xiaowang, uh because i guess the set have some error somehow instead you get one spro of this they managed to give us four set so uh although it's a bit sad that they don't get a wall but i guess the statue is a is a plus point so i actually kind of okay with it and we we actually need more so i, I i'm not complaining i'm actually quite happy so technically each box of sanctum they give you three so you can build three so we here four total is 12. Now let's come to our big boys. Yeah. This is a really heavy set. Basically, this is room wall and platform. They almost every box of the not the just kill team. Right? You can get these pieces together. This is an old imperialist box I managed to get from a very cool friend his name is Raymond I managed to get some walls from him then this is more of the imperialist wall we're gonna destroy it later and we hope we have enough to build our cathedral but uh, this is just the pile of shame of it and we could use this as a foundation we probably can find some cool friend together we can plan out to build something really cool remarkable and most important things that's so huge that uh, okay, I don't aim to aim to beat Warhammer World lah, but probably we can try to aim to beat Malaysia Record. And to be frank, well, Malaysia Record actually is quite high because yeah, one guy uh, back in Well of City, he's a manager. Uh, he, Marcus actually built something called the Twin Tower of Malaysia using Sector Imperialist. And I know his set is probably way more than me, but 
we can try to do our own cathedral, maybe Malaysian church, and we can see how we can build it. This, I think, is just four walls, and this is the middle one. So sorry, let's come back. So here, I believe it's also a partial of the set that I took. This is probably from the main core set from the Q team. I believe you get this is a partial of the platform rune set. And this is the second statue of uh, Better Sisters. The I think this is called the Sanctum statue or something like that. So basically you can build a huge statue. I believe this terrain piece also have a special AOE effect. But on the new rules, we need to double check, is it still relevant? Then this one holds a lot of pieces. Is our this brood. Uh, you can see those yellow color definitely from our Q team starter set. I believe all these are just ruins walls, more ruins walls. Uh, because I actually saw in YouTube someone do for their sanctum of the cathedral uh, for sector imperialists. They know that they try to uh, make as men as big as possible, but they know they want to do some better damage. They use this to replace those wall columns, and in a way, it's another way to cheat out to create more sizes, and it doesn't need that many wall pieces. This is one of the prize collection I collect over the years. Oh, how do I even get this out? Okay, so here are the walls. So the original plan, technically the, the plan of the this entire project over for these three, four years, I tried to make 80 walls because I made my mats if I want to do two to three story to fill up the entire table. So the whole cathedral is technically six times four feet. I supposedly need to have 80 walls. So here I think is six. 12, 13, uh, 15, 17, 19, 21, 23, 25, 27, 29, 31, 33, 35, 37, 38. You have 38 walls. So we definitely need way more than this. We probably need to have another 50 walls. But looking at here, I think I still not really have enough. Because definitely this is less than 38 because this doesn't even fill up totally. Here is uh, basically way other more walls. But uh, I did fill up because you can see this is just swimming platform. So I remember I'm close to 70. I just probably need another... I need to try to hunt down another 2 box or 3 box. Finally we have an 80. We can try to create the mass, the technically the super huge terrain piece for our cool uh, church or cathedral for our better sisters and this is the wild purchase recently and we know sisters now is getting, getting more hot and i'm quite happy and proud of this collection so so the mainly i shoot this episode because i really want to guys present my uh, recent big purchase uh. Uh, to be honest this might not be a most rational decision but uh, this decision will not I technically I won't regret that because it's not something that you can just buy when you want it's really fully based on the luck and thanks god uh, my luck in this year is quite good I managed to get all those cool pieces terrain despite this has been out of print for many years and it is actually a small step towards back to my Warhammer World Malaysian dream and I hope you guys also enjoy this I will gonna take some time to paint this or you guys got any very cool color scheme you like me to try on please let me know we will go and do it and for the meanwhile probably I will not fully paint the cathedral but I will start from assemble first but while assemble it every two feet I'll make it magnetized so for a very obvious reason for transportation because I want to have able to transport to my friendly uh, retail store of my friends either in Penang or even in PJ or even in the friend store we can able to move there and can just bring this board we go there have a very cool game and we can play a total cool scenario so this is gonna be our sector imperialist project and this is my power of grey and a new power of grey too <laughs> 
So that's all. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you guys is a maniac of a terrain piece or even a, just a collector or even a hoarder, uh, please feel free to uh, support the channel by keep like, comment, subscribe. And also don't forget to share around so you guys will never decide to contact. I also have any cool idea of how I should build my police cathedral or those church. You guys also can share me the link in the comment. I will check them out and also plan out a, a rough idea how I should do it. For walls, I hope I will have way more enough. If not, I will continue just hunt them. Some are still in seal, like for example, this box is still in seal inside two statue. And of course, there's another eight more walls. And we also will try to slowly digest and cut all the sprouts. And most important, the turn that takes most time probably is uh, mole line removal. And so while we're doing our scaven type, I also like to do some project to take a break. So sometimes when you do one thing too much, you like to do another random project just to cheer yourself off. Uh, not the, uh, technically to make yourself feel more better. You always need to change some flavor, so so you will not over burn out or you get or will not over get bored of one project. This is also very cool. This is an old set. I'm not sure where the eager head. I need to find, probably find out. It's just somewhere. And this is way more. And this is a really beautiful piece. We probably I hope print a. Some kind of uh, acrylic with those sisters because we're gonna stick here, we're gonna put some LED. This is gonna be a very cool turret program. So. so, that's all for today. So, this is my latest haul of my turret collection, and hope you guys like this. So, if you'd like to support this channel, please feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and don't forget to click the bell button so you don't miss out other future cool updates and our turret project. And if you like to see this bad uh, church, not bad church, I think this cool project to be in view and design, please feel free to leave the comment below how should I build my church or any very cool idea of this cathedral. Or even I, so I know in YouTube actually someone also do a very huge cathedral. I also get inspiration by that. I think that's a very cool project. So for Malaysia, I also like to do something like this and hope we're gonna create our version in very, very soon. Probably painting will take some time. I'm being very honest, uh, painting is do consume time, but we first we assemble, at least we can play on it and we really feel really good. We can slowly paint over the time, maybe one color per week because the size is huge uh, like you guys see how the jet hole it take a lot of time so we will slowly to the point that fully finish then finally we're gonna just seal it uh, in the display cabinet probably I need to invest on the glass cabinet too so that's all see ya hope you guys like this content and really don't forget to subscribe to the channel